And today's been a day of lessons, lessons. learned. So, lesson number one. Layla said our fish boat crashed. Our what? She said, and our fifth boat crashed. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. But I think lesson number one is, is whenever you got below a quarter of a tank, fill it up. Because now I have to unhook the fifth wheel because I can't fit into this town's only gas station. And whenever I stopped to get directions or ask about the gas station, I did not see a hidden concrete pole. And whenever we started to swing wide, that happened. Completely destroyed my stair system. And I don't know what else damage I did, but did that. So now we got to unhook so I can go get diesel, hook back up, and then go to a campground, which we can only stay two nights at. So anyway, today's been not so fun. So today, I'll just say it. I think, <laughs> I think today sucked. Well, uh, it had moments of. Yeah, sorrow. I was saying. I'm just letting you know. My nose looks <laughs> sore. <laughs> I mean, what which, you can't fix angle? the nose. I'm gonna have to call a doctor. Is there a certain angle? <laughs> Is that... Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. <laughs> we're so, not going to use this video. <laughs> yeah, we are. All right. Well, it started off great. Like, we were excited. We thought, well, we'd like to stay at our place we were at, but it just didn't work because we didn't have water. My dad showed up. That was just the best thing the ever. The best thing ever, of, I, th I think, of the whole day. We're not using this video. Why? Have you looked at me? You look amazing. Babe. You're amazing. Almost. I promise. You promise you don't want me to use it? Yes. Well, I want to use it. This is, this is good. I haven't looked pretty one thing in this whole Whatever. YouTube channel. I haven't had makeup on in one screen. Well, we're living in a fifth wheel. So, makeup can go in fifth wheels. Well, I know that, but we just don't have time. That's a daggum true story right there. <laughs> you just had the longest blink of your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a long day <laughs> yeah seriously um uh, we went to the next campground which ended up being full i mean they could have had us tonight but no we're done setting up and taking down yeah they could have had us tonight but then we had to be gone tomorrow so we didn't want to deal with all that and so then we went to a town 15 minutes away and wait i about ran out of gas we realized we, we were out of gas yes so get gas before you get to a quarter of a tank that's our new rule well it's actually been the rule but michael's never followed it yeah so i'm gonna start filling up whenever i get to a quarter of a tank because you just end up running out of gas way too soon we got to this town that only had one gas station and this one gas station was up a hill it was silly and it was super tight no way of getting the fifth wheel in there so we pull off on the side of the road i run into an ice cream parlor and ask them if that's the only gas station yep i want to go to that that's ice the only cream gas parlor. station yeah i do too <laughs> go ahead and so i run back to the truck because i'm running out of gas hop in and i start to pull away and there is this large concrete circular thing that has a light pole in it. And we said it was hiding. <laughs> it was hiding on your side and you weren't paying attention. Oh boy, now no, it's my fault. It's my fault. It and is. so I hit that on my <laughs> steps where my steps are at and it just moved my steps about six inches towards my wheels. And so they're all messed up. We got them out tonight, but it just really bent them up pretty badly i'm gonna have to have them taken down and try to either it's reshape the them or replace them so after that happened we ended up getting to a campground they were full 
but they let me unhook my fifth wheel there so I could run to the only gas station in town. Get Have gas. you ever went through so much work to get gas in all your time? No. Diesel? No. So, got diesel, went back, hooked up the fifth wheel, went to another campsite. They got us in. Super helpful. The guy Precious had. people. Yeah, he helped me back in, find a spot. He brought tools for me to help me get the steps down. And so we are thinking about the day, even though, yes, I said earlier, it sucked. I think at the end, you have to look at what... The divine appointment. Yeah, you have to look at what blessed your day and not what cursed your day. Yeah. And uh, so we're, we're holding on to... Where'd you go? <sighs> there you are. I'm tired. <laughs> T-A-R-D, tard. Tard. You're a turd. <laughs> So we're just holding on to what made our day awesome. And tomorrow's going to be awesome. Tell about Chasen. Tell about Chasen. What happened with Chasen? I get annoyed when I feel like I want him to read my mind and he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mind reader. You're the one that told me about Chasen. I wasn't Oh, there. yeah, 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 yeah. So we were outside and Chasen looked up in the sky and said, Look, Daddy, Jesus. And so... It's like moment. all of all of my stress, all these things that I was feeling once before. As soon as my two-year-old said that, I thought, yeah, it yeah. don't matter. Yeah. None of this stuff matters. So, it'll be all right. Things can be fixed. Things can be replaced. And uh, we will make it another day. We will make it in this life. These are just lessons learned. Everything will be fine. It's a story. It's a story. And tomorrow... We're not going to be responsible. We're not going to try to get all this stuff figured out. We're just going to live and figure it out another day. That's the goal. <laughs> all I could think about was how, how tired my arm's getting. <laughs> <laughs> well, turn the uh, daggum thing off because I'm over it. We're tired. Yeah, that's not going to be on so there anyway. It is too. No, this is not. fantastic. Nope. Too I'm, tired. I'm using this. No. Yes, I am. Good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> I really am using this. Nope. Just saw it again. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's going to happen. No. Nope. So, Layla is, this is the last day of being four years old. Grady started riding his bikes without training wheels, so she decided she wanted to, too. We didn't know if she was ready. But we're going to see begging she, us. She's she kept been begging, begging me over and over. Take the training wheels off, Dad. So I did, and this is what happened. Ready? Oh, my goodness! <laughs> what? <laughs> Layla, good job! You're doing it! You just turned? What is this life? It's kind of bumping me. Oh my thing. goodness! Keep going, keep going. Oh, this is really what Keep going, go pedal faster, go pedal faster. Oh! Oh, and she didn't even fall. <laughs> Good job, five. sis. Yeah, great to give her five. Isn't that awesome? Now you guys can ride your bikes together. Yeah, and we look, look at Chasen's yeah. blue bike. But Chasen's not gonna be big enough until he's five. That's yeah. right. Okay, this is kind of. Keep going. Okay, I'm trying to get off that. Hold it. Hold, hold the bike. Then hold it. Okay. Just keep going. Okay. Okay. And, um, I'm fine. Oh, good job. Oh, I want to put up the hammocks now and then I'll start running again. Can you push me, Daddy? Yeah, buddy, I'll push you. Ready? Set. Go. So I just put up this hammock. My first hammock I think I've ever put up. Uh, wasn't sure how to do it. We don't have any cell signal here to uh, look at the website, see what the instructions was. But I will tell you, my grandpa taught me this knot. And I thought, well, surely it'll work. Because once the pressure is put on here, it, it makes that snug up against the tree. So I thought, well, that's what I'm going to do. And sure enough, it worked. And we got a couple hammocks for the kids, and they are going to love them. Aren't you, buddy? You like that? Mm-hmm. Looky, looky here. We got stairs. Let me tell... Hey, what do you think about the stairs? We're excited. So what, what we are loving so far about 
this RV life is the community of people who are so willing to help. Uh, the guy who owns his campground, he did give me some crowbars and some, some things to kind of uh, work with and use. And then we met some awesome people here, Dustin and Angie. And he and I took this thing apart. Well, unbolted it from the, from the frame that it sits within. We took it down the road to a spot and beat the heck out of it for like five minutes. Or actually, it's probably more like 30. I don't know why I said five minutes, because it, it took a while. We got it back into a decent enough shape to where it opens and closes. I still have to, I've still got to fix that, uh, which isn't, to me, that's, that's no big deal at all. Uh, what I am really more excited about is how we got the stairs fixed. They'll open, they'll close. I'll probably have to spray a lot of WD-40 on it. It's kind of lubricate it to where it'll keep functioning, but uh, it works. Not perfect, but it works. And I'm so thankful, so thankful that we got this done. Hi, Sissy. We got the stairs fixed. She's impressed. Okay, Miss Layla Bell finally figured out how to start it all by herself. You ready to show me? Oh, yeah, you did it, sis. Oh, 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 <laughs> you all right? Okay, this time what? Every time when I start going into something, can I close my eyes for a little bit before I come sweeping? I didn't know, I don't know why I come, why I'm on my bike, and then I just cross into something. Yeah. That's what happens when I, that is what happens. Well, you may have to keep your eyes open and watch where you're going. I'm trying, but I'm, I'm sweating. Yeah, it's hard work learning, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It really is. Daddy knows. This whole experience has been nothing but learning, which I like. I enjoy learning. Yeah, I, me too. Yeah, we, we both fun. enjoy it. It's really fun when we start getting out our bikes because um, then we can like, like, like seriously get on it and stuff. And when we take our train wheels off, it's way better yep. to, to go faster. Yep. So that's why I wanted to take my train wheels off. I knew it was time for me. She knew it was time. But Dad was kind of wrong. Every time he'd want me not to, but I was still right. To be honest, I wasn't sure if she was ready to ride her bike without her training wheels. So, he, so this day, he just let me try it. I did. I said, you can try it as a test, and we will see if it works. But if it doesn't, then we'll I just put the training wheels back on. Yeah. So there is a uh, there's a lot of hard work to learning, and I don't mind learning. I think the the struggle for me is that there's also been a lot of stress with that learning, and there's been a lot of things that Lane and I will continue to learn in this adventure. But just like Layla riding her bike, she is learning. She's sweating but the enjoyment that she is getting out of it even though it's taken a lot of practice it's taken a lot of falls it's taken a lot of running into poles <laughs> literally like i did but you know what it's once you finally figure it out and you get on that and you keep riding and you keep going and the smile that comes to your face that is why we're doing this because we know that throughout all of the hardships that we're going to have through this, that the end result is going to be so worth it. I do. I do. I do.